A respected local artist who made national headlines as a child has died. Good evening. I'm Latoya Silman in for Reed. And I'm Jim Snyder. Glad you're with us tonight. He went by the name Dave Dave as an adult artist, but 35 years ago was David Rothenberg. The whole country knew his name because his father tried to burn him to death. He persevered through that. In our top story tonight, some of those close to him open up to News 3's Max Darrow. David Rothenberg, known as Dave Dave, died in July. The cause of his death is still unknown. Friends and family tell me they are heartbroken he's gone. You may have known him for his art, often on display in Las Vegas. This is Dave Dave at Dave Dave HQ on YouTube. These are some of my work. In America and around the world, People may have known David Rothenberg as the boy who survived a horrific attack in 1983, committed by his father, Charles Rothenberg. Seven-year-old David Rothenberg nearly burned to death last March when his father set fire to his California hotel room. His father told police he wanted to kill David and then himself. The attack left Dave badly scarred with severe burns from head to toe. But friends and family say Dave stayed resilient then, and that resilience continued throughout his life. Those of us who were, who were close to Dave and love Dave are, are heartbroken by this. Mike Watkiss, a longtime friend, says for a man who had every right to trust no one, Dave was incredibly trusting and always made those around him feel at ease. I've been in the business of interviewing people for 40 years and I've never met anybody as remarkable and as strong as my friend Dave and he was just a really remarkable guy. A caring and incredibly strong man who embraced life to the fullest, who Watkiss says will always be missed. What life dealt him and then what he turned around and dealt back to life, uh, you know, uh, he's really a lovely guy. Metro originally investigated his death as suspicious. They later deemed it wasn't, so we're still waiting on the coroner's office to determine what exactly happened. Now, as for his father, he served just under seven years in prison after that 1983 incident. He was then released, but then in 2007, he was arrested again and is now serving a 25 years to life sentence in prison. Reporting in Las Vegas, Max Darrow, News 3.